All right. Hold on. I got to bump this microphone here. That should be good. Yeah. Oh. How's that sound? Does that sound good? Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, love the weird NPC sounding good. Hey, thanks. Thank you very much. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, oh boy, hold on. I gotta change my water. I gotta change my water and I gotta refill my wet palette. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'll be back. Thanks. There we go. Raziel Gore with the 38 months. Thank you, Raziel Gore. 1, They're 38 months. Woo. I was wrong. I have 15 siblings. Oh my God, you have so many siblings. Can't even remember how many. Mama mia. All right, hold on. I gotta reapply my wet palette paper. Uh, if you didn't know, here's my wet palette. Wow. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm working on this reanimator. It's coming along. Should probably put another layer of green on this thing, actually. Shake it up. There we go. Get a little bit of paint on there. Put it on the old palette. All right. Perfect. What up? What up? My first time painting were flyers or zinch, and they were awful looking good memories. Zinch flyers? You mean the, uh, the manta ray looking things? Screamers? They all more here. Alrighty. There we go. Yeah. That's looking good. Perfect. I wonder if 
I can like Thanks. shade these top ones in with Tesseract glow and make them kind of glow. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, just to see what happens. Just to see what happens. Uh, 6507 with 26 months. They were these 6507, 26 months. <laughs> That's a lot of numbers messing with my head. 26. One. Maybe the 26. All right. Here we go. Got my Tesseract glow. Gotta shake this up. Shake it. Yee All right. Let's see how this looks. Get a little bit. Don't need a lot. Let's kind of put it on top of here. And. Okay. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> oh, that's why. This is all push fit. No wonder it fell off. <laughs> it's not even glued on. Well. So I'll just glue it on later. Honestly, I should just glue it on. Push fit just falls off. I'll do that whenever. All right, either way. Let's see. Let me put a little more. There is Sin Victor. <laughs> Although there won't be any battleship tonight, I got a grill. The old Sunday night grilling. Alright. Yeah, my Kren Minute was very passionate this week. Very passionate. <laughs> it's probably dry enough now. Oh yeah. Here you go. He's popping. I like that. In fact, I'm gonna add this to kinda all the green I've done. Probably make it all pop. Oh yeah. I like that. I don't even want a lot of it. I just want enough to where it makes it stand out a bit more than normal. That works. <laughs> cool. I'll put some on these big things. Here we are. One more on the back. Let's spread it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very cool. Alright, now it's glowing a bit better. Although, I am probably going to need to do another layer. There you go. If you look now, you can see one that I just did looks far more glowy than the one that I didn't do. So it is doing something. That's good to know. <laughs> Hooray. I'll paint minis. I clean detailed old dirty, dirty coins from troves. I have 10K magnifier to do it. Work with toothpicks, paintbrushes, and scalpel. Damn. That sounds wild. <laughs> I don't even know that was a thing. Well, I mean, I figured it was a thing, but it's one of those things where I don't hear about it too often. Very nice. The other side. There we 
go spread it around there we go nice okay we went to the uh, Ren Fair today saw the Mud Brothers that was great um, I am worn out from that Ren Fair <laughs> There we go. Very nice. Now it's popping. A bit more than it did while well, glowing, I guess, but same difference. All right. I got the Cryptek Armor Shade as well. That's what I put on the uh, this thing. But I think I'm going to put it on everything. Because I just like the way it looks. I'll probably put it on this guy. I kind of just painted him green on all his tubes and stuff. Oh. Your run fair of big beers. They just have regular sized beers. And they're like $11. <laughs> For like a 16 ounce beer. They got some strong IPAs though, so I mean, that's nice. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna paint this guy first. The warden. What did we eat? We ate a lot. <laughs> a lot of variety of stuff. Corn, artichoke, turkey leg. Uh... What else was there? Uh, we had fries. They're like more like potato wedges with like cheese and onions on them. We had a bunch of shit. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. Don't let any of this pool. Hello. Needs to pool in some areas. But I don't want it to look like overly rusted, I guess. Uh, yeah, turkey leg's great. Gotta love the turkey leg. Gotta love that turkey leg. And, uh, oh, the garlic mushrooms. That was the other thing. Love garlic mushrooms. Big fan. And then, uh, oh, the garlic pickle. That was the other thing. The old garlic pickle as well. All right. Very nice. Slowly coming along. Okay. Yeah, I got a Pandaria Wow item named after me. On the uh, the old Timeless Isle. I never got my own item. But I got it. I mean, uh, it's in the game, but I never got it. Literally. Okay. But I have my NPC, which is much more fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got going from the back a little bit there. Oh, it shows up on the black market auction house from time to time. Interesting. Hello, Crendor. I hope you're having fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> I am. I'm in that like post event phase of the day. You know what I mean? Like we had all that happen. We were drinking, walking around, watching stuff, eating stuff, 
having a great time and then after all that you just you get back you're kind of in a like a haze <laughs> you know what i mean i'm in that haze right now and i'm just like paint warhammer yeah yeah it's not it's not pooling in there this is the area i want to like settle in but it's not okay whatever That's fine. Uh, we did see the Mud Brothers. It was great. Another top tier show from the Mud Brothers. Already in mid season form. <laughs> top quality stuff. I tweeted out that picture of them. There we go. Another round of. Shading here. All right. And then tiny bit here. All righty. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get back in here just kind of go crazy in here <laughs> let's get it all over it's fine all right uh it's good okay now we're just shading. That beer. Yeah, I already went over them with uh, some metallic colors. Now I'm just shading with Cryptek Armor Shade. Which is pretty much made for Necrons. Because <laughs> uh, I like the way it looks. As you can see the shaded side versus the unshaded bits. Get some of that there, okay. And then clean up the back, the back of his leg. Okay. Very nice. Uh, a bit up front. pipes or whatever that is. I think it's pipes. Get in all little detail area. Okay, that's good. That's good. Looking good. Let me go on the inside. I think I missed a bit there. Yep. Okay, I got it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gonna do that because I missed. God. Yeah. Perfect. Good. <laughs> Get the brush in there, go crazy. This brush kind of sucks anyway, so I don't really care if I mess it up doing this. Cool. <laughs> Alright, progress, progress. Progress. <sighs> A little more. 
And learning how to paint was a thing learn a thing you learned that was a game changer for you. Uh I mean dry brushing is a pretty big thing. Really just the uh Really just the practice and like learning the feel of different paints. Cause like some paints you obviously don't have to thin as much. Some paints you have to thin a lot. And it just all depends. And you just kind of get used to the different paints and everything. And things like learning how to shade properly and not letting things pool, but then not also soaking up too much of the shade to the point where it's like you can't even tell. I don't know, there's a, just a lot of little things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we are. I got a gun from that way. Nice. There. And then a little bit underneath are the backs of these pipes. That should be good. I'll probably use a different shade for some of the other parts, I think. Yeah. There we go. Like an Agrax or something. All right, perfect. Oh wait, a little bit here. Yeah. Let's do this. In fact, need a little more on his hand. All right, there we go. Very nice, very nice. All right, he's doing it. <laughs> As, uh, we'll do the weapon later. Uh oh, hit some on him. There's another guy I really want to shade in, so I'll probably do that. The Luminor Zerus. Let me shake this up. All right, <clears throat> there we go. There's a big time shade coming in. <laughs> He's got all these different legs and stuff. All right. Let's start with his torso or whatever. Good. Go to the other side. A little in there, a little in there. All right, that's good. In fact. Get some okay, there we go. I like making it look a bit rusted or something. Or worn. Alright. Good. Although that's a little too much on the back part. Uh, there we go. That's better. I'll let that dry. Uh, 
Right. We'll do his upper half here. Get that all shaded in. Back me a little more. Here we go. Let's get it all in the crevices. Yes, sir. -y. All right. Just kind of spread that out a bit. Yeah. Okay, not bad. Yeah. The other side. And oh, geez. Might even like mix it up though, so I'm kind of like, oh, do I want to fully shade him this color? Or do I want to mix it up? <laughs> thanks for your pointless top 10 good stuff. Hey, thanks for watching it. You ever tried taking an edible in painting? Uh, a little bit. Actually, mainly building a little bit of painting. It doesn't really change much for me. <laughs> I also don't take a whole lot, so maybe that's why. Uh, uh, I kind of want to try a different thing for the legs. But up here, this will stay the same. Well, I gotta, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to try Agrax Earthshade on his legs. See how that looks. Uh, all right. Is that a Necron? It sure is. There's only one of three armies to play in 40k. One of them ne is Necrons, the other one's Orcs, and the other one's Tyranids. That's it. All other armies are for babies. Alright, where is my... Is this it? Oh, there it is. Shake it up. All right. Now, let's see how this looks. And if it looks bad, I'll just shade over it with the other shade. But I have a feeling it's gonna look pretty similar. So I think it does a better job of getting in the recesses than the Cryptek one does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Alright. A little too crazy there. That's good. We'll go... There. pretty good. It's definitely lighter than the Cryptek one. Uh, probably do the other side just to see. God, this is going to be hard to see on the camera, but trust me, I'm doing it. <laughs> there we go. Do, 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 do. 
All right. Uh, good enough. That's good. Now I gotta get this one. Uh, somebody's getting stepped on. I don't know who it is. Some sort of inferior human species. <laughs> I think it might be an ad mech. All right. Let's get more here. It's kind of nice with Necrons. You could just go crazy with like metal and shades and stuff and it never really looks bad because you're kind of just old robots, <laughs> you know? So you can kind of just like go crazy testing stuff out, painting over old stuff. If it works, it works. And if it doesn't, you just paint over it, <laughs> whatever. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Let's just look at that. I need more than that. There we go. Very nice. I can get a more for the front. Alrighty. Then I'm gonna give him the old twist here. Get all this stuff. Very good. I think that's all his legs. Yeah. I actually like that. It's not like too overpowering. It's just subtle enough. Probably do his arms like that as well. He's got a few arms. All right. Very good. And his back arm. Actually, there's a little pointer thingy up here. Get that. Then we'll get the back arm. Alright. Very good. So you probably a little more underneath. That's where the shadows would be. A little more in the hand. Very good. Up there. Cool. And underneath the shoulder pads. Do a little bit. Probably double shade it with something else later though, just because it's like super whatever. Alright. 
looking good. I like the I like when it's subtle, you know, nothing too crazy. big power glove or something the old nintendo power glove right here get up there do that very nice that's good I gotta come in from this side. Do the same thing as hand. Uh, a little bit in there. Alright. Now I gotta do his head. I almost wanna do his head a different color of shade. I wonder if I have a lighter brown shade. Uh, let's see, there's a Thonian camo shade. I don't know if I want that. That's too green. I can actually make it a orangey shade, like a seraphim sepia. Seraphim sepia? I'll try it. Shake it up. All right, Let's see how this looks. If it looks just okay, I can just shade over it since it's a really light shade, honestly. different enough to where it's not too crazy. I kind of like that. I'll go maybe with that for his spike things. I don't even know what these are. In fact, I might just do this as like a a first layer coat and then do something else over it. I don't like that at least. All right. All right. Yep. A little bit there. A bit under there. Let's see. I kind of like it because it's like the sun's hitting him from up top or something. So it's still like brown, but it's like a nice glowier brown. And then the the legs are kind of a in between. And then the cryptech shade is the darker one. And that's like the inner parts. So it's kind of like a shading with different lighting type of thing. I like hey, that's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Although I'll probably shade the inner parts different. Do this thing. Let's get more. Go crazy. Oh, yeah. Let's 
That's good. A little bit on this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. We're making progress here. Um. Let's see. I kind of want to try. Hold on. Let me see some other Necron thing I got. Uh, I have a lot of warriors. I might test a different shade on a couple warriors just to see. Oh. Um, that'd be another good one. I did red. This isn't really red. This is like Targor Raid Shade. It's like a dark black red. Yeah, Luminor Zeris is a fun one. The paint. What up, only stamina? All right. Uh, I kind of just want to try it, see how it looks. And I figure a warrior's good cannon fodder to try it on. <laughs> Actually, that's not too bad. I kind of like that. Kind of works. I mean, you can see it's shading it, but I mean, Null Noil will do that. But I like the red tint it kind of gives. Oh, I'm going to try the whole model. Now that I like the initial test version. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Go up there. So if it looks good, I'll just do that for all my Necron warriors like this. That'd be fantastic. Okay. One more. One more. Okay. And then a little more for this. Some in there. Shading is Pretty easy. <laughs> that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Let me just some of this. Yeah. There we go. Hold on. Comparison. Hold on, brush. So you can see, obviously he's shaded in, so there's shade. <laughs> well, there's depth and stuff, but. You can see the difference pretty clearly. <laughs> it makes a actual really big difference, to be honest. 
Honestly, I like the rage shade because it gives them like this kind of red tint to the bronze. I don't know. I like it. I think I might just do that for all my Necron warriors now. I might even do it for some of these guys now that I know this. Targor rage shade, everybody. Great stuff. Is this Kaizo Ironmon? Uh, yeah, we're in the lab. We are in the lab right now. The only downside is I gotta do this for 39 more warriors. Well, 38 and a half at this point. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, can you be more Bob Ross? Uh, sure. Now what we're gonna do is go in there with this shade brush with our Targor Rage Shade. Not a titanium white. Just spread it around there. Make it go all over. It's a happy, happy paint flooding into those recesses. Look at that. Let's bring the depth, the depths of the ocean. Uh, that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, <laughs> bring the depths of the ocean up. All right. Here we go. A little bit in there. Beep. Beep. I get that. I think we're good there. Uh, oh, that's front. I'll probably shade the gun a different color because I want that to contrast a bit from the actual model. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's take a look again. There's a the new guy compared to another one. You can see. Looking good. Now if we compare him with the other guy. Hold on. We just shade it in. There we go. Nice. Loving it. Uh, first time I catch one of these painting streams, do you have any Admex? Uh, I do not have Admex. I have Orc Necron Tyranid. That's it. <laughs> I also have, a, I have some unbuilt Chaos Knights as well, but that's it. Admex okay. They're at least like kind of robot. They're not fully human. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's get into here. Them up there. Get his chest. Get his head. Just 
spread it around a little bit better here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a little bit more down in there. There we go. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna have to get some of his chest piece thing. There we go. Now I got it. Now I got it. Well, the one, I don't play Tyranids as a horde army. I literally just have a bunch of monsters. I have a Horaspex, an Exocrine, a Winged Hive Tyrant, a Swarm Lord, a Tyranifex, and the Screamer Killer, and a Neuro Tyrant. And that's like three fourths of my list. <laughs> And then you just throw some other stuff in there, like I got some zoanthropes. Uh and then Leviathan box stuff essentially. <laughs> and then uh my orc army is literally just squigs and a stompa. So yeah, mainly just squigs plus stompa. And then Necrons are Necrons. <laughs> okay. And... No Carnifex. I don't even know which one the Carnifex is, actually. Which one's the Carnifex? <laughs> uh... Honestly, I like all the monsters. I think the reason I don't have a Carnifex is they were out of it or something. Otherwise, I probably would have one. Is that the one with the crazy, like, tentacles and shit coming out of its mouth? Wait, no, that's the Horror Specs, but I think there's another one like that. I think I know what they are now. I think I'm... I reckon... Uh, I reckon... <laughs> I recognize the, the thing from reading the rules and looking at all the pictures and stuff. For Tyranids. Uh... Alright, actually I gotta get... More in here. You're good. Now this guy is all shaded in. Fantastic. I don't know what color I'll do the guns for shading. I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, I never actually played tabletop Warhammer. My brother and I used to collect paint them when we were younger. That's what happened to me. I used to collect them. I'd try to paint them, but I was really bad. And then I always wanted to play, but I never did. And then I got older and I was like, I'm gonna try it again. So I did. And then I got really into it, as you can tell. <laughs> and then they were like, you should try playing the game. So I learned Age of Sigmar, then I learned 40K. And now I play it a lot. And I love it. Take it up. I'm gonna shade in my Hex Tech Destroyer. Or Hex Mark Destroyer, I don't remember what he's called. All I know is he's really good. <laughs> he's very good. Alright. Uh oh. I think part of him came uh, unglued. <laughs> Actually, since this guy's not uh, brass or bronze or whatever it is, 
He actually looks a bit more red, which I kind of like. Mm. Almost purpley. I don't know. You can kind of see... There you go. You can kind of see the comparison. It's kind of hard to see on camera, actually. But if you look at the left and right, you can kind of see it. It's like more of a purpley reddish. But I think it looks good. Any reason you're running the two barrel guns? Oh, I legit... Uh, I just build whatever I want. And then I just tell people what I'm running. No, because I play with like... <laughs> I play with people who just don't care. I'm like, I thought this looked cooler, so I built it like that. And they're like, I'm like, it has this weapon. And they're like, all right, whatever. <laughs> all right. Let's see. And then... Got a... Insides here. Actually, a little bit on the outside. And the inside. I'm gonna have to glue him down again, but I'll do that after I've painted him. <laughs> I mean, if he pops off, I can just keep painting him. It doesn't matter. Alrighty. Let's get in here. Shade all that. Yeah, I play with pretty, like, casual, chill people. Although, one is, like, very good. But, he doesn't really play, like, competitively or anything. But he could if he wanted. But he just plays, like, dumb lists. And then another friend actually does play in tournaments. He's pretty good. And then our other friend is... Not the greatest, but he's a cool guy. <laughs> That's really all it's about. It's just like hanging out, playing with people. Like, I don't care. It's the equivalent of like, I play with like a, probably like a, a diamond tier player, a plat tier player, and then like a silver tier player of like League of Legends. <laughs> and I'm like gold. <laughs> so we have like four different tiers. <laughs> In fact, it's uh, it's been four years since I got back into Warhammer, which is pretty crazy to think about. I've been doing this in, like four years now. It was uh, it was like around this time in July that I actually was like, yo, I'm gonna get back into Warhammer <laughs> for the first time since being like 12 years old or 13, and then uh, I haven't looked back. <laughs> It's been fantastic. Alrighty. Uh oh. I need a lot up there. Just enough to change the color of his plates. Cool. Oh. Rep bonus for a while goes away Tuesday morning. I mean, I'll get it done by then. I was probably just gonna casually do it the next couple days. Oh yeah, I like the way this looks. 
Always liked how Empire Necron Tyranids. I'm really, uh, I'm like Tyranid Necron Orc. I'm not a big Tau person. I'm definitely not a big any other human faction person. <laughs> I don't know why, I just never like... I never like human factions, I don't know. In any game. Not just Warhammer, just like any fantasy-based thing. <laughs> I just hate being human. I remember some guy was like, Krendor, you hate humans, but you're human. I was like, so? <gasps> I hate myself. Uh, I don't hate myself, but... <laughs> To me, like, the reason I get into this stuff and, like, fantasy and everything is just because I'm, like, trying to, like, you know, trying to play stuff where I'm not human. It's like a, it's a fantasy thing, like goblins and orcs and, you know, crazy shit. To me, like, humans are just, like, it's a human. <laughs> like, okay. But I get it, right? Like, you need humans in fantasy. I don't mind them. Like, I don't mind killing them, <laughs> you know, like playing against them. It's fine with me. I like it. I wish there were more games where it was like you played as the, uh, for example, I would love Vermintide, but as Skaven. Like, how much fun would it be as Skaven? I think it'd be great. So everyone's like, oh, you get to play as human with a hammer, like a dwarf with a hammer, like a elf with a whatever. But like, imagine... You get to play as Skaven, they're like, all right, here's your warp fire thrower, and you're just like, and then you like, want to, you like overcharge it and just blow up. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, if you overcharge, you might kill yourself, and you're just like, whatever. I love Skaven. <laughs> That's so much more fun to me. All right. Uh, let's go here. All right. <laughs> yeah, I can see Admech. Like, to me, honestly, Admechs are in that territory of 40k to me where I think they're cool, but I just don't want to play them. Like, I don't want to buy them and paint them and do all that, but I like seeing them, and I think they're cool when other people play them and stuff. And I'm like, yo, that's a sick model. That's cool. Well, there's a lot of, like, Space Brain stuff where I'm just like... <laughs> Alright. Put that there. A little bit all around. Very nice. I think I got all his things. Check. I didn't think I got his head, actually, or maybe I did. Uh, oh, wait, I definitely did. I definitely did, but I didn't get it kind of back there. Almost back there. All right. Oh, and maybe... Oh. Right in his groin. There we go. Oh, wait, I didn't even get this. What am I doing? It's the one right in front of me. There we go. Alright. Yeah, look at this. Now he's popping out. Loving it. Doo -doo -doo. And then I still gotta, you know, I gotta paint all the tubes. I gotta, like, highlight them, or I gotta shade them in with the old Tesseract glow and everything. A little bulb up top, but... I always love once you base coat something and then you shade it in and it just starts popping. You know what I mean? Like, it starts coming to life after that. And you're just like, shit, dude. That, like, actually basing a model, that also helps bring it to life. As the amount of humanity goes down, the coolness of the race faction goes up. Yeah, pretty much. 
<laughs> the only thing cooler than that is using your Twitch Prime. Wow. <laughs> All right, over here. We actually got here. I've been working on my Mazrog Scrag Bad. I, th I think I painted him on a video or a stream, but I've been working on him. He's coming along. I did the uh, the old zenithal, so you get the shadows built in and everything. Although it might be a little too shadowy, but whatever, I don't care. <laughs> uh, he's this dude's like really good in the new edition. Like my god, he's hard to kill. He hits stuff hard. I like this guy. Uh, I also got my Silent King over here, but I do not want to start on this. <laughs> this is like a full project. <laughs> That's a full pro. All I did is I'm like, I'll paint that. <laughs> this thing is like... <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, I was showing this off the other day, too, but... Here's my old slan I'm gonna build. This is one of the first models I got back in the day. I remember I got it for my birthday when I was like 13. I had no idea how to build this thing. I still am like, all right, how do I build this? You got this goes in here. I trimmed it down a bit, so it should fit. Hold on. Here we go. You still... Still uh, struggling a bit. And then this and it goes this way. Right? Or no. I think, it goes, I think it is this way. Right? Something. I think that's it. <laughs> this thing is a... Wait, is this? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> This is a, yeah, because that, okay, yep. It is definitely that. If like, oh my god. <laughs> and then you have the guys carrying it like that. You gotta like glue their arms on as well. Like this thing. It goes like that. Wahoo. <laughs> That's an experience. Oh, that's a that's a whole project in itself, and it weighs like three pounds. Shit, legit, it legit weighs like three pounds. And you pick up one of these, weighs like an ounce, if that. Uh. Oh. Let's see. All right. Well, I'm probably gonna go grill now, cause it's getting later. Gotta make sure we start grilling before it gets too late but i don't know that's pretty good progress i shaded in some stuff i shaded in a lot of stuff actually now that i'm looking at it, it had Illuminor zara shaded in some warriors i learned that targor raid shade is actually probably my favorite shade for, for uh necron so i'm gonna keep doing that so that's pretty neat um so yeah thanks for watching everybody if you're new here click the follow button follow along if you like warhammer i have my warhammer channel where i upload these to the channel on exclamation point warhammer in the chat it should pop up i do sigmar i do 40k i mainly used to do sigmar but now i've gotten into 40k more so i'm doing both <laughs> uh and yeah uh i try to do sunday night warhammer streams here but if not i just put videos up over there as well so uh thanks for watching thanks everybody subscribe resubscribe and i will see you tomorrow okay okay see ya also go watch new pointless top 10 if you haven't seen it. it's pretty good